Hi. Uh, let me show you something. I some of you have seen this model before or versions of it. Um, but this is the one that I made so far that I think is the most poignant and um, obvious for what I try to uh, to raise awareness for, of. Right, so um, what this is is a cube and the cube is usually thought of as our unit of understanding in terms of space, right? So space is thought of as something that is derived by putting together uh, points without dimension, uh, lines that go on to infinity, planes that are square and without depth, and finally we get to a volume of space in the shape of a cube. But the way we think of it and the way we work with it looks different than this. Right, so the cube as we come to know it, the so-called three-dimensional cube, only consists of these outer uh, edges here, a dozen of them. Right? So we think of the cube as something solid with surfaces here, whatever those surfaces are made of, and we perceive of it as these these lines only and these are our rational lines our rational units of uh, distance area and then volume so what makes this one different you may ask and I'm happy because in this case I finally got around to making one where all parts are made of the in the same way and of the same materials so we have these paper straws and there's a string running through the paper straws and basically what this gives you is a tensegrity which is the integrity of tension of a system now this is not the cube that we're used to seeing because this cube actually has those diagonals here those face diagonals and we don't usually have them in our imaginary pictures they are not what we get from our axioms and those axioms are ancient you know somebody euclid and others they said oh you know a point without dimension that's just a given everybody agreed and these axioms are still valid even in so-called non-euclidean geometries the basic axioms of point line and uh, area and volume are still the same and why is that a problem well you see this is actually containing two uh, separable parts so to say nothing is really separate in the universe but these two can be taken apart and if I do that if I you know if I take one of these corners here and take off the cube from the diagonals whoa what happens there suddenly the thing begun, uh, becomes flexible and transformative, transforming, right? So something's going on here. Now, what is going on? We can just continue doing that, continue taking off those corners, and it gets even worse, you know, it gets more and more wobbly wiggly 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 um, 
and yeah this is not looking good for our cube but let me take off the last one and there we go so what is going on what 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 um let me just take this out because for some reason there is something we can take out of something and what we have left now is two cards we have our diagonals who didn't really care for whether that cube around that was there or not and we have that cube thing those 12 edges dozen edges that well are the basis for all of our common sense understanding of space and universe and all that uh, but you see you see this that's um, not really a cube anymore only if I hold it in place and at least two points um, so what is going on well mm, the cube that we think of when we think of the cube is what Bucky Fuller called the ghost cube and why is that because it's not structural see there is no triangulation to it apart from those tiny triangles in the corners that hold this together so that it doesn't fall apart entirely um, but there is no um, no cube in this you know no no defined solid cube and that is because universe does not consist of one two three dimensions and then there's a linear time somewhere else and the universe never ever holds us its breath to make this have that shape and not wiggle and wobble the only place in universe where we can have space without time which is the separation of space time into two parts of it the only place where that is possible is in our minds um, or if we draw on a paper or in a computer or something but then we always have a medium somebody holding that cube in place just as our mind is holding it in place for us and that is a problem because we are ruining the world literally based on a concept that is a misconception of reality and look around everybody everybody in the world seems to be quite certain that there is something like our 3d reality right everybody agrees that lines are one dimensional and planes are two dimensional and square and um, you know the three dimensional cube is where we get to our reality before that's all abstraction but the the cube itself is still abstraction and while this shape this uh, system this um, tensecrity here can m m take up a great number of shapes it can transform and dense form into rather many different kinds of uh, configurations that have much more able to last than this while that is true there is simply no space there is no space all we are and all that ever was and all that, that will ever be in universe is space-time and that is not 3d but 4d and there is no abstraction in there you know 4d doesn't mean we have one two three a zero one two three and 4d um as one might think uh, so it's not something that comes after the first three d's but it actually is at the heart of them and 
it is the necessary ingredient to make them make anything reality and this is um why do we why do i call it 4d i mean that might be misleading if you consider it as a continuation of the other 3ds but um i do call it 4d because bucky did with synergetics and what he referenced with the 4d were the four planes of this what i call the four eyes so this is the so-called tetrahedron the four eyes and it really is believe me i there there's i i get resources where i explain this in depth but what this really is is four spheres that are nesting together so each one of these vertices is the center of a sphere and the sphere is as big as well the radius of the sphere is half of one of these vectors so this is the con connection between two spheres and while i do not need to actually have those spheres like this here uh, they are still manifest because these connections here these vertices really are spheres of interaction and there is nothing abstract nothing abstract about this there's nothing you need to believe there is nothing you need to imagine it really is just experience what experience that what is there and when we do that we do not get to three dimensions we get to this and these four dimensions are already there before you even put this together because nothing in the universe is less than four dimensional everything everybody is at some some scale or some level made up of spheres and our whole existence is the interplay of spheres like if you want wander around and you notice the senses that you have they are giving you a, sp a spherical perspective on the world you do not have a rectangular horizon around you you have a circular one and the sky above you is not a cube you know i actually went into much more detail on how and why this idea of 3d is absolutely misleading and actually wrong factually wrong um and i did that in depth in a video that i called unboxing reality um but part of the problem in that is in the idea of 3d is that you think of these edges of the cube as parallel and if they were then that means the earth has to be flat for that to work but yeah don't take my word on that just now but if if you want to if you are open to ask yourself some serious questions about the the tales you've been told uh, on the topics of reality and how that is made up then I invite you to check out that video um, on unboxing reality if you're open to that also if you are interested in learning more about synergetics and what this four eyes in here is actually doing and what there is to it and all the rest of it then please also check out my um, other videos particularly the one that i call synergetics in a nutshell yeah and until then please reconsider rethink and ask yourself who told you that space was 3d that there actually is something called space 
which is separate separate from time who did that and why do you believe them what kind of nonsense is that what kind of dogma really uh, and only just because it's been told for 2000 years or more it doesn't make it any more true okay so that's me again talking about synergetics and unboxing reality and the trouble the deep trouble of us believing in something that isn't there and I mean it's not just believing but also manifesting something that isn't there because whenever you build a cube and you do not think of these diagonals you are forced to add much more strength to these corners to make it last glue them together or uh, weld them together or whatever you need to do and all of that is unnecessary it's a waste of energy and time and material and all of that and there's far more things to this why this is important and why this matters but that's it for now and please um, if you enjoy this uh, get in touch or share this you know leave a comment whatever you like to do um, but please take a moment to think about these things and ask yourself some of these important questions so take care